This is the Mate 60, the latest smartphone from Huawei that shocked the world with its 5G capability. It's something that many thought would be impossible under the US chip ban. And in 2024, Huawei is taking things to a whole new level with a move that could transform the landscape of mobile operating systems. This is Harmony OS. Huawei developed this Android alternative in 2019 after the US sanctions. But ever since its launch, it's been riddled with controversy. Many said it was just like Android with a new name. And on one level, they did have a point. Since Harmony OS's inception, it's been using the Android Open Source Project, or AOSP, as its system foundation, meaning it's compatible with installing and running Android apps. But with each iteration over the years, Huawei has gradually reshaped it by adding in its own codes. And in 2024, Huawei is set to achieve a major milestone by introducing Harmony OS Next. For the first time, it will no longer be compatible with Android. This gradual transition was deemed necessary by experts, as Huawei phones still needed a way to run Android apps before developers could create enough Harmony OS alternatives to support a self-sufficient ecosystem to satisfy users' everyday needs. And that's happening right now. Hundreds of China's biggest software companies in navigation, travel, finance, games, and more are on board with developing Harmony OS Next applications. Internet security solution provider 360 Group is among the firms building and testing their native apps. The so-called cross-device collaboration, where users can pick up what's left off in another device seamlessly, is considered a trump card for the Harmony OS. The operating system is designed to fit into not only phones, but also other devices like vehicle screens, home appliances, and more. If you want that means the effort also hinges on talent. Driven by a surge in demand for programmers proficient in Harmony's architecture. Over 100 universities in China have launched Harmony OS dedicated classes. When you tap open Chinese job search apps, you will find page after page of tech companies that are hiring Harmony developers. The real fight for Harmony OS to stand on its own has begun. Research firm Tech Insights is predicting the move could catapult Harmony to become the second most popular mobile operating system in China this year, just behind Android and surpassing Apple's iOS. Despite the optimism, experts call for prudence. Pushing a new operating system is an endeavor that Microsoft has tried and failed with their Windows phones. Remember those? There's a reason we don't see them now. A major factor behind people abandoning the system was its poor app variety, due to a lack of developer supports. 其实从操作系统的本身的一个特点上来讲的话，我觉得其实并不是会存在一个什么样特别大的问题。但是对于开发者的吸引啊，各个方面的力度，其实相对还是比较小的。the key here is to provide app developers with a strong enough reason to commit to a new system. The relatively larger user base in China should inherently appeal to domestic developers. And Huawei officials have also pledged to offer revenue sharing incentives. But immense difficulties lie ahead outside of China. 
Getting global companies on board with developing Harmony apps will be a challenge if the Chinese tech giant refuses to settle for being a China-only brand. It's obvious Huawei has huge goals. For now, all eyes are on how Huawei's future strategies match its ambitions.